Guys, Mr. Quinn here with another IXL talk through video. Today we're looking at a skill on to count coins and bills up to $5. As always, we're going to start by learning with an example. Um, each of your questions are going to give you some amount of coins or bills. They might be forward facing, they might be backwards facing. So it's really going to rely on you to know what your money looks like. That is very, very important. And then it just kind of gives you some quick directions here. First, count the dimes by counting by tens. There's only one of them. Then count the nickels by counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, plus 10 gets me to 25. And then I'm just gonna count my pennies. 26, 27, 28, 29, there's 29 cents. Um, something that I would really encourage you to do before you start is get a piece of notebook paper out and write down the values of the coins. That information is really important, it's really helpful, and it's almost a necessity to find success on these problems. Hopefully you know what those coins look like, you know what pennies look like, you know what nickels look like, you know what dimes look like, and you know what quarters look like. And you know how much each of them are worth. So we're gonna start with this question, how much money is there? I'm looking for my largest amounts first. Now to help this first time, I'm gonna do some writing over top of these coins. This coin is a quarter, quarters are worth 25 cents. This coin is a quarter, quarters are worth 25 cents. I do not see any dimes, but I do see nickels front and back. So this nickel is worth five cents, this nickel is worth five cents, and hopefully you know that this right here with Abraham Lincoln on it and the Lincoln Memorial on the back is a penny, and they are both worth one cent. Now it's just a matter of doing some basic addition. Line up your numbers, line up your place values, and you shouldn't have any problem. 25 plus 25 is 50. 50 plus five is 55. 55 plus five is 60. 61, 62. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna type in 62. I have my cent sign at the end, and I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. Um, Let's jump a couple levels here, see how these questions change as we get into dollar amounts. Hopefully this is pretty straightforward for you. There's a dollar bill, a dollar bill. Hopefully you know that's $2. All right, and let's go ahead and jump up to what our highest level here might look like. We have a $5 bill and three quarters. Hopefully you know what your quarters are worth, 25 cents a piece. That's 25, 50, 75 cents and then your five is going to give you five dollars and 75 cents well guys i hope this video helps you out i hope it makes a lot of sense remember use a piece of notebook paper that will help you find success so that you know what all of your coins are worth line up your place values when you're adding and if you need to you can use a calculator hope this video helps out thanks